Hi, hello, this is Anup here. And in this video, what we are going to see is how to create a device configuration profile with a custom CSP. This would be a Windows restriction policy or uh, restriction profile. So I'm an Intune console and device configuration and profiles. If I click on create profile, yeah, I will name it as Windows 10 CYOD email sync restriction custom policy. Uh, this will be uh, only for Windows 10 and later versions. If I select this configuration type, mm, this is profile type and I'm going to select custom. If you want to do some other restrictions like device restrictions there are out of box policies available you can use this option device restrictions but in this case i'm going to use custom policy i'm going to add all my uri details first of all i need to provide the name of the policy so that will be email sync restriction so what I'm trying to restrict here is the from the device will emails from allowed domains will be able to sync but all the other emails will be restricted on that particular device description disable personal email sync disable personal email sync that would be my description Oma URI so if I open up the settings over here, this is the URI settings allowing specific domain email sync. So I have created OMA URI. Okay, so this is the one. This will restrict it. Data type value is string this string I can provide the domain names I want the separation parameter between two domains is the symbol and how to, how to manage devices dot com once a policy is applied on the device, the user will be able to sync emails from only these two domains. If you have more than two domains, you can add all the domains you want. XYZ.com and ABC.com. Okay. So just click on OK. Click OK here create and you can assign it to all users or you can do it for devices CYOD devices or BYOD devices this would be ideal for CYOD devices Okay, so this has been deployed. So let's check whether the restriction policy is deployed to this machine or not. This is a Windows 10 machine. Let's launch Event Viewer and go to Application and Services Log, Microsoft Windows, search for device device management enterprise diagnostics provider click on that expand it click on admin so so if i go to the logs of that admin event box you can see these are the policies this is the policy which got successfully deployed on the machine if i go back to the overview you can see that this policy has been successfully deployed to our one device okay thank you for watching if you like my videos please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to click on bell button to get the notification about new videos bye bye